Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, so, I don't know if you remember, but I had this green Xbox that I picked up recently, and unfortunately, it had looked like someone had been inside it, and when I went to go test it, sure enough, it didn't work. So, um, I 100% think I got ripped off on this deal. Uh, I mean, it was only $25, so it wasn't horrible, but... Um, yeah, as soon as I took it home and I got it out of its bag, I thought it would be a good idea to um, open everything up in front of the camera with you guys, and I didn't really check it out because I was on my way in, onto hockey. Uh, I mean, again, regardless, I, I'm not too worried. Uh, I didn't pay a lot for this, so um, we're going to see if we can salvage this guy now. And uh, I've already started opening it up, but I thought maybe this would be a good opportunity to show um, everyone um, how to reshell an Xbox and take it apart um, so that we can reuse this and, and not be a waste. So um, you are going to need um, these two bits here. I think these are torque bits. Um, I don't recall exactly what size, so I'll have to look them up. But the bigger one is to open up the bottom screws on this on the machine, and then the rest you just need the smaller guy. So you start by taking off the six screws. They're underneath the, the feet. So usually you can just lift just the corner of it. You don't have to take the whole foot off, but you can lift the corner of it and get to it without having to rip off the pad um, like this one has. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you have those six off, the top comes off. Now, unfortunate thing that happened on this one as well, whoever was in here was pretty forceful because unfortunately one of the things that hold down the top broke off. Um, it's, it's unfortunate, but uh, I think we can still do without it. Uh, and unfortunately it ripped way too much off of it on the other side to even catch a little bit of it so unfortunately that's a lost cause but I think with five we can still get it to go okay once you're in here there's gonna be three screws these smaller guys okay just like that one will be right here and then the other two will be right down these holes here. I don't know if you can see, but right down these kind of holes right down here. And then the other and the other will be just on the other side here. Okay, so you pull all three screws out. One, two, three. Okay, once you have that out, we can get the ribbon. Be careful to pull that out. Power. I kind of like to wedge my screwdriver in here and just work that out. Okay, and then there's the ribbon on the back of the CD drive. And we'll go and pull that out along with the power for the CD drive itself. And out comes the CD drive at this point. Now you have the CD drive out, and you should be able to like grab this ridge, and this whole thing will pop out. Okay, set that aside. Okay, now we're looking at the guts. Now, this is where I need to caution everybody that you have to be careful, particularly if you if you had, if you had just tried to turn this on, because there are components, especially right in this area that can hurt you, so be very careful. There's giant capacitors sitting right here. So, be careful guys, it's not my fault if you get hurt. Now, uh, so I can tell right away what happened to this board. Um, now, I could salvage this board, I think, but I don't have, it's not worthwhile for me to fix this board because I have a couple other Xboxes right here, right next to me, that, um, 
I'm just going to use the guts of those to um, fix these ones. Um, so, yeah, the problem. Let's see if I can show you on camera. If you get real close right there, you can see the problem, right? That cap, this one right here, has exploded from the bottom side and leaked all in here. So, and I'm not an expert in this, but I'm guessing that if I were to replace this cap, I'd have to take a close look. But if I replace this cap, unless it's this big guy here, that this whole thing would probably start working. But uh, again, these things are so cheap right now that I just want to reuse this shell, so I'm not going to bother. So we're going to yank this guy out of here. Power. So there's a little clip on there. You just got to squish, pull out. And then a couple plugs that should just come straight up and out. Sure, you get the fan plug. And should just come straight out of there. We're gonna open up these Xboxes the exact same way. Exact same way. So I'm gonna pause it for now. All right. So we've opened up the other uh, Xbox. Um, so the first thing you're gonna notice is that these guts are a little bit different, right? Um, the early Xboxes from 2000, um, I don't know if it's one or two to 2002, they were a lot different. They ended up having these this um, active cooling on the GPU here, which you don't see on the, the newer ones, which had a bigger heat sink and no fan. Um, along with a couple of the plugins, and even this power supply plugs in totally different. So we're gonna have to migrate all of this over to that case. And in that process, I think we're gonna also change this uh, heatsink to the one on the other boards so um, that will also be uh, less quiet because these tend to make a ton of noise uh, over time. In fact, I wonder if we can make it uh, we're up right now. Yeah, so this is not even that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and take off all the screws um, just like you saw on the last box. So we're also going to need to remove this power supply. Uh, again, I advise heavy caution when doing this so you don't electrocute yourself. There's going to be a screw on the two screws here on the left side of this. And these screws are all the same, so you can't mix them up. You can mix them up as much as you want. Okay, once you have that out, this will slide back. You're going to need this power supply to go with that board because they are different power supplies with different plugs. Much better. Okay, so let's drag and drop this guy in here now. Now, I'm going to forewarn you, there is a version of the case, and I, I don't know if it's the very first version, but there is a version of the case that doesn't quite fit together if you try and swap it and there's a little plastic nub on the back here that just has to be taken off and then it works fine. Um, so just compare when if you're doing this. Um, uh, obviously the closer the versions that you can get in, in terms of the year, if you look at the back of the Xbox, um, the better it's going to be. Um, this one fits just fine in here. so. We're really happy with that, and we're going to go ahead and screw this all back together here. Um, so that just kind of slipped in, and then the power supply will be 
sort of the same here. Right. And slip. There we go. Now it's just a matter of screwing it back together. Okay, so I got everything screwed back in. All the plugs back go back in basically the same areas. And uh, before I do anything else, I'm just going to give it a quick test just to make sure that um, everything's good. Uh, I also want to make sure that the CD drive that came with it, you can swap the CD drives. It doesn't matter which one's in there. Um, the hard drive that was in this machine has to stay with this machine. Um, there's something called an EEPROM um, code in here that has to work with the board in order for all of this to work. So if you try switching the hard drives, um, it's not going to work. It's going to give you an error when you fire it up. So the hard drive has to stay with the hard drive. This, however, can be changed. But the one thing you can do here, um, see how this is green? You just go in here and you just slowly work it off. And up. There you go. Let's see. And you can just swap that out to the to the next to the next um, CD drive. There are actually three different kinds. There's uh, a Thompson drive, which isn't very good. There's a Philips, and there's a Samsung. The Philips and the Samsung are usually pretty good. The Thompsons, not so much. But um, this, you just got to make sure that the metal isn't touching the board. So that's why I kind of roughly put everything back into place. All right, so that works. Um, I'm also going to give this a quick test on the CD drive to make sure that it can play games because I want to make sure this is good when I wrap it all up. Okay, so now that we works, we know that the CD player is reading games, I'm going to go ahead and change out this. Now this is totally optional, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it because I want to see this in the best condition possible. real careful on this part guys this is um, stuck on there harder than you would believe and if you're not careful you can snap this little plastic shroud that's around it so again this is pretty flimsy and I have snapped it once before um, you can replace it with the one on the other board but I would prefer not to have to do that because I have to take this all apart again So just take your time, and it should just pop. There it goes. So, crusty old one. So we're going to clean that up really good. Using that. All right, so we've cleaned enough off the, the uh, GPU there. Um, now I've also yanked this one off the other machine. So we're gonna clean that fun now. Okay guys, pretty clean now. Now we're gonna take our, basically our computer CPU paste here, and we're gonna drop a rice-sized amount on that GPU. Okay, so we drop this back in it. See? This one has a bit of a different clip to it. There. But, you know, pretty much the same thing. It's just holding it down there. So, make sure one side is clipped. And this will just snap right in there. There, done. Much better. Passive cooling. Now it's time to just reassemble this beauty. I don't want to put this back together and find out that I've missed something, so let's fire it up. So 
it's working. That's good news. So now we just reassemble. Two screws here, one screw's here, lid back on, and the five screws underneath. And we're basically done. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I got the uh, feet all back together. Ended up taking a pad off the other box in order to fix the one that was missing. Um, and then just use a little bit of super glue there uh, on the back part in order to keep that on. <coughs> and uh, ta-da! We have a working Xbox. You can hear the game clearly going in the background, so we are good to go. Uh, if this was helpful, um, please like the video and uh, please subscribe and we'll catch you the next time guys.